Hey there, Rob Murray here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website from scratch and do it completely free inside of a Groove Pages account. And if you hold on for a moment, I'll actually give you this website template that we're going to build live right now. So, cue the intro. Okay, so I'm into my computer now and I'm going to go into Groove Pages. And I've just opened up a new site, so click on that. And I'm going to add a, so obviously you can see from over here, we've got this nav bar at the top. We've got the phone number and email on one side, the logo in the middle, and then our pages here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to keep that over on that page. And I'm going to, first things first, I think I'm going to build this out manually because if I go into the nav bars, which are fine, you can see there's different versions here with the logo in the middle, links on the left. Um, all the ones with the, the logo in the middle, it's not giving me what I want. I want the email and the phone number on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come into an empty block and, gr and drag that in. And then I think I'm going to kind of style this out. Um, I think I'm going to do three, three columns. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, sorry, that didn't work. I dropped it too soon. I need to drop it there. So the middle one's going to just be a nice image because that's going to be our logo. So I can keep control of everything. And then the left hand side, I want another two um, columns. So I can now drag a two columns in so I can put an, a phone number there and an email there. And then over here, what I'll probably do now is just drag in a nav bar over here. Uh, in fact, I could have done two looking at that. I could have done two with the links and etc. But I think what I'll do is let's drag that one in and let's see if I can just get rid of that logo there. So I'll quickly just uh, put in a logo here, put that in expert mode, and I'll just choose my logo there click select and click update and obviously I want to quickly just size that so I'm going to come into sizing choose PX and obviously I can use my little drag and drop I want it nice and slim uh, and then again this whole container this one in the middle I want to uh, sort of look that's fine so I want to use the spacing and the layout I want it vertical like that boom it's now in the middle and obviously, I know I'm rushing this. I don't. I don't want you to be sat on here for 45 minutes. I want to make sure this is short, sharp, and easy for you to follow. But you can stop and pause and, and take action, building your own one out. So, so this whole top container, I'm going to use this again. I keep dragging it backwards and forwards. Uh, I'm going to use this color just to um, to keep the the styling. That's that. And uh, what am I in? I'm in the block. That's perfect background. And I'm just going to put the hex code in there, and that should give that green back. It doesn't look good on my logo, but that's fine. Again, I'm not worried about that right now. And if I drag that back over there, so I want a phone number over to the left hand side, and then an email address. So I'm probably just going to drag in two lots of text. I think I used H5 there. And let's just make up a phone number. Oh, wait, oh, 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 and let's just add an email address in there. Support at funnelsqualified.com. Same thing, uh, let's click on that container that's holding these two over here. And let's see, I'm thinking it might. Yeah, so it just centralizes those a little bit. And then obviously I'd hyperlink that. And so both of those, I wanna go back into that container that I was just in that's got the two in. And I just wanna space that a little bit because I want that further down. So let's just drag that. Oh, it's only taking the one. Okay, I'll do them both one at a time. So it's three rem. And let's do the same thing with that one. 
three rem. And let's look at this uh, nav bar over here. So same thing, I want that three rem so that it brings them all on the same line. And keep saving as you go. Now that green, uh, where is it in my clipboard? It'll be in my clipboard, but I'm just gonna grab it from there. And now I wanna just put the background color here of the green so it, stand, it, it all fits in. And then I'll change that text to white. Pasted that correctly? No, I didn't. Ah, okay, yeah, I thought that. So I want the nav bar and the container it's in. I want it all to be that background color. I just didn't have the. Um... Oh. Nav bar. So it needs to, <laughs> it needs to be changed again. It's because I'm doing it manually. Sorry, I've got a fly. Okay, so so that's all good. Now the the um, pages here. This will be dictated to what pages I had over here. So again, I'm just going to kind of do this on the fly, just so you can see how it will add them. And I'm going to name them the same as it is on the um, on this over here. So it's services and save. And I don't care that they're a blank page. I just want to do and then gallery. Rename. And you'll see once I've done this, when we go back to the home page, it will add them in the nav bar and contact us. Okay. And I think there's a oh, there's an about us as well. Oops. Just rename that one. About us. So now if I go back to the home, again, it's a bit too tight. So again, we'll have to work on some spacing over here, but that's fine for now. And that seems a lot lower than that. I don't know why that's done that. So again, I'd, I probably did the spacing in the wrong box. I think I did it in the container over here. Let's have a look. No, I must have done it actually in that in the individual element. So maybe I didn't do that over here. So let's take that back to where it was. That might actually be all right there. Um, so that's fine. So right, I'm going to drag a new block in. Again, let's show you what we're looking at. So we've got a big, um, big image here with some text in the middle. So same again, you can either drag in one of the pre-designed blocks. So if I show you all the blocks here, I'm just looking for a bit of text and a button in the middle. So it could just be something like that. It's got two buttons or it could be that and you could just put the image at the background. So in fact, let's drag that in and let's use that instead just to make it uh, so I'm varying how I'm using it. I can use empty blocks or I can use the pre-designed blocks. Um, let's just rename this the same as what we've got. Agency starter. Okay. It's, um, it's got no spacing. It's just on a white. I'll add an image in a second. And let's go to the sizing. Okay, and then down underneath they've just got premium template. That's fine, and then this button is learn more and with that same green. And um, for now we'll just leave the button um, so it's not changed and we'll just go in and use that color again. So the background is uh, let's click there. I'm not sure if I've still got it in. Oh, okay, maybe I have. 
And again, it's got square edges, but I'm not that worried about that. And I'm just going to put a little background image in this block. It doesn't matter what. Something that will fit. You know what, I'm just going to use the bricks just to save time. Okay. And again, it's if we look here, it's spaced out quite a bit more. And, you know, so I'll just do a bit of spacing just to show you that you can I wouldn't have that much spacing on a on a page like that but you know just want to show you what can be done okay that's perfect and it, let's say it's not the right color the background in fact I'm just going to go into uh, the image library can't leave it like that Agency. Let's see what comes up. I want a darker background to go with that green. There you go. That's fine. Perfect. Again, it's not it's not ideal, um, but as I say, it's just a demo to show you how you can quickly put together a website. I might put a bit of colouring over the top of it, but so the next section we have is uh, if I scroll down and show you. We've got this about us section, so it's a bit of text over here with a headline and then an image. So again, I'm probably just going to use some of the pre-made elements uh, or pre-made blocks. So it's just text left, image right. And so I'm going to go into my wireframes. That's probably about as perfect as it could get. So I'm just going to change this to about us. And it's got a little green divider underneath it, so I'm just going to add the little green divider. So I click into that and let's configure it. So it's a bit deeper, so I'm going to go with a four. It's maybe 33% let's go left I want it solid and then I want that green again and get rid of that and click update it hasn't seemed to update I don't know why Okay, we're not going to concern ourselves too much with it. Uh, it might just be a little glitch. I could come back later on. And then we've got some Lauren Ipsum there as well. And I'll just remove the button because it's not there on the um, on the example. And we know there should be an image there. So the next section is, I'll show you. It's like a four box section with a, a nice background and four different services. So let's see if we can find that in the blocks area. I'm going to go with wireframes again. And I'm looking for the four boxes, really. So it's going to be down further. And this is just a snippet of what's going to be available um, once we're out of beta. So you can see here we've got three. I want to try and get the four. I could obviously do it manually, but I just want to see if they got any blocks here with four. Okay. Okay. So again, I could use this one and just duplicate uh, or clone that part. That's that's not really the right one. Again, that's a shame. It's text. Okay. Again, I can change all of that around so that would work. Or that might work. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use one of those ones and just kind of modify it. Where was the one I found? The team. Yeah, you know what? That might work. That might just about work. Oh, I didn't let go of the right spot. All right, that's fine. I'll get rid of that because I, I wasn't using that container. 
And now I want to go into the block and again put that darker background in. So let's go in the background and choose an image. And we're going to go in the free stock images again and just put desktop. Let's see if I can find, I just want like a wooden desktop. I want it to be that darker wood color, but I don't want to spend time searching. So I'm just going to use that. That's quite dark. And then we'll put our four green boxes on there. Yeah, it's totally the wrong color, um, <laughs> but that's fine. We can work with that. So as we can see over here, I don't need any text above. It's just the four boxes. So I'm going to remove all of that additional text that I used. It's just a very simple click and delete and confirm. Same again. Click, delete, and confirm. So now I'm left with the four boxes. And um, what do I need? So I need um, to get rid of these. And I'm going to get rid of that whole little container. Same again. Same down here. Same here. Okay, so all I really wanted was a COG logo. So this is probably all set up. Um, so let me see if I can just delete this and see how it works. Um, I kind of want to get rid of that whole, it's like in a mini, no, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll just get rid of that. And then I'm going to just see if I can style the container it's looking like it's doing both. Let me see. Okay, there you go. So obviously on our image over here, they've got a, a little image of cogs. So I'm just going to see if I can find a stock image of cogs. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm not going to waste time. Um, doing that but I will amend all of this later on and the only thing we're missing is a little headline saying your service so I'm just going to drag uh, let's drag a bigger one in let's drag h2 heading there your service okay so I can It'll, it'll mess around a little bit, but I can now just clone this section. You'll survive. What the? Oh, I don't know why it did that. I'm just going to get back out of that. I've got to change that. I can't deal with that. So your service, I don't know why it did that, but again, I will amend this after, as you can see, we'll just duplicate the same, and obviously then people would change the services in each one of those boxes. And I'd use the green background, so if we just finish this one, and if I go into his background, let's change that. Don't, th oh, it's still there. Perfect. Okay, so next section. So again, it's really just, it's two images, really, isn't it? It's, it's a headline and two images. So let's drag in a block. Um, let's go wireframe. What did I say it was? Yeah, so it's just two images with a headline. See, I actually find it longer and harder to, to do the searching through these here than actually just building it myself but i'm just going to kind of stick with this for the moment wow i can't believe there wasn't a oh, there you go that'll do it's not what we want the team version but it's, it's got everything we need there it's got the the headline and it says you got skills fine we've got our two images there that's okay so I'm just going to get rid of all of this down the bottom here I could do getting rid of that whole 
container that's got all of that in below. Let's see if that gets rid of that. Perfect. Just saves me clicking into each one manually so I can kind of go up one level. So when you're doing that, you can either come here and click that little up one level and it will take you to the container or you can click on it down here. So let's go and delete that. Boom, done, save. And our next section is, it just says our work and it's got four boxes. So we've seen a few of those, oh, sorry, blocks. So let's go into our wireframes again. So I want four images across the page. I know I've seen that two or three times. I just want to go and find it again quickly. That's three. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Um, that's not images, but you could quite easily uh, change it for images. Uh, three, three. Again, four, but it's not images, but again, it would work. So I'm just going to drag that in. Let's drop that there. And over here it says our work. Okay. Just going to save that. And then as I say, it's just got the image in this box here. So I could quite easily just delete all of this. So I'll do it in one of the boxes. No, I don't want that. Oh, it's probably all individuals, those. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, no, it is. So if I go there and then go up one, now it should highlight this whole box. See that? Just saves you doing them all individually. I'm just going to delete that. And then delete these two. So you can see how, for me, I think that actually creating a, a blank box and then just dragging across some text and then dragging across a, um, a container with four um, sections would have been a lot quicker here. But I know a lot of people don't like using the blank areas. So now I should be able to drag an image into that box there. Boom. Okay. Again, I might just want to match that background there with the color because all it's actually got over here is just images of a website so it would just be probably a, a, a blank background there so i hope you can see how that works so that's that bit and obviously i'd modify all of those and the next section is pricing for offers So again, I might just go and select the pricing this time. I'm being a bit lazy by scrolling through. So we've got, um, that's perfect. And then all I have to do is add a headline. Great, done. <laughs> all I'd have to do is change the color of the buttons. And obviously you modify the text. So again, you'd go in here and buy now. Hmm, don't know why that spaced that out differently. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Like I say, I'd edit all of these. And then if I go back over here, we've got a, a little join our mailing list section. So it's just a very simple um, form. Yeah, we'd probably get away with any of these ones here. 
kind of pre-done. Just dump that there. I just change the background color just for now. Okay, let's save that. And, and then pretty much we're hitting the footer at the bottom. So let's uh, drag in a footer It's got a logo on the left. Some, that's probably perfect. Let's go down here. Drop that there. Uh, and I'll just switch that out for um, an image. But I'm not worried about doing that at this moment. Again, that whole block is white. So we'd have to change the uh, background to white and then change all the the text to, to black. So I'm going to click on this, but I want the whole nav menu or maybe the nav bar. I can never remember. Our text. Let's see what happens if I change that to black. Okay, cool. And then I would, if I was keeping that, I'd change that to black as well. So let's have a look at what we've done so far. And, you know, it's not a million miles away. Obviously, there's some spacing issues at the top here and different things, but uh, I think you can see that very, very quickly within the Groove account, uh, it spaces out better when you're viewing it. You know, terrible image at the background here, but that would obviously click onto something. That's fine. Again, you'd have your, your correct texting in here and your image. We changed one of them and we'd change that to a cog, a white cog, and then we'd have our services and we'd obviously duplicate those for the other three. It just needs the images to be placed in there. Same here, it was like website examples, so you'd have four there and then it had another four. So all we'd do, and I forgot that actually, is we'd fix, where is it? We'd fix this here, so we had all four, and then we'd come into here and, uh, where is it? Is that the whole block? I don't, don't actually want the whole block. Let me click on that. So this is the container. Yeah, it might not give me the, Oh, it does. So the four layout. So now I've selected that four layout where it's got all four of them. All I do is click clone. And it's ready. I think it was trying to save at the same time. Yeah. And, and again, now I'd need to go in and put a bit of spacing in between. So I'll just click on that layout again, the four layout. Spacing. And I just drag that down a little bit just so it spaces them out. Perfect. So again, you can see that you know it doesn't take long to build out a website. By the time we crop and edit this, and I was chasing a fly around for a little while, it's it's going to be around about thirty minutes. You know, as I say, if I go back over here now, let me save that and then preview again. So we've got our header uh, with our again we'd space these out correctly, and they'd be in white. I think it was. We came down here. We'd modify these. We've now just duplicated that, so you'd have. You know, eight different versions of the websites that you're building. You've got three different packages with buy now buttons. You've got a, an opt in form here and you've got your footer. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. And, you know, go through the video, take it slowly, build out one block at a time. That's all you've got to do. If you're looking at something like this, for example, and this is just an example that we have one of those that, you know, we use to kind of look at the, the layout and the look of a website. But you can go and just Google your favorite people, find their website, and all you're looking at is one block at a time. So this top section is one block. This next section here with the image is one block. So all you've got to master is how to build one block at a time and put in there whatever it is you want. Once you've done the one block, you move on to the second block, the third block, the fourth block. So I'm hoping that makes sense. I did say at the beginning I would give you this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean it up and finish it. And then uh, in the next day or so, I'll um, put how you can download this and put this into your free Groove account. Also, make sure you grab my $2,000 worth of bonuses for signing up for your free Groove pages, Groove selling, Groove affiliate account. No credit card needed ever. The link will be popping up on the screen and it'll be down in, below in the description. And also over here on the left now, there'll be a few additional videos popping up ones that we've done recently and go down below and subscribe and click the little bell so you get all the notifications of my upcoming videos 
and also like and comment. Let me know what you need help with inside of the Groove Digital world. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.